enough of this silliness. Welcome back to Here we are. Couch. Bro up. Yes. With your friends, Craig and Victor. Jupiter. That was probably really annoying. <laughs> Did you go for a long time? It only went for a little bit on mine. Then. Oh yeah, and zoom like cuts out. Yeah, Sustained noises. That's funny. I went for a very long time. Cool. Uh, in fact, it's time to end the episode already. I'll have to, well, it's been real. <laughs> a lot of progress here. On this game, we're probably over halfway done. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we did, we did a lot. I, I, we did do a lot. It doesn't say like like what day you're on, like day two, day three. I don't, right, that would be helpful. I haven't, I haven't been checking, so, so we'll see. Have been saving, though? You need to save it just in I, case. You know I should save it. Kicks you out. Save. Uh, I can't tell what I'm highlighting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. okay. Last we left off. Yeah. Second day everyone, of poems. Everyone was being really, really weird, and I didn't like it. So let's see if, if they stop being weird. Okay, everyone. We're all done for reading each other's poems, right? Well, I have some extra, extra plan today, so if you ever want to sit in front of a group of dog, you can just sit next to me, maybe. Is this about the festival? Well, I sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's normal, you're a club. Ugh. It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days for the festival. That is true. Why did you just bring it up now? <laughs> we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members, stupid festival. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Well, don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We, we, we don't even need to do much more than a few decorations, maybe put a few weekends worth. Uh, she already has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets so we can give them out at the event, stupid dog. Okay, that's, that's like great and all, but it doesn't tell us what we're going to actually be doing at the event. Oh, sure, I think you heard about that already. Trooper Dog, I told you to tell him. Why didn't you tell me, Trooper Dog? <laughs> well, that's all right, Mary. You should just mind your goddamn business. I can play some. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to perform, obviously. Perform? You just said it wasn't going to be much work, you idiot. B. P. <laughs> B. Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. It's going to be great. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. And Drippy Doc will be there. And part of the cool part is we're going to also go and let anybody else come up and recite poems too. It'll be like a party. She always put it on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. This is it. It's time for your triathlon of voices. <laughs> Siori, who's been coloring the posters, holds up, uh, holds up one for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting posters up, did you? Well, well I did. Do you really think that's a bad idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. It's just a stupid one. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? You didn't even ask. So there's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of idiots like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. For once, I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shaking her head in fear. Does She's afraid. <laughs> no, Shiori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Misuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone just a couple days ago? And it's like to ask them to recite poems out loud in a whole room of people, and it took this long for me to realize that, even though I was putting this thing together for weeks. <laughs> I guess I kind of overlooked that small fact. That's the first time I consider it, I guess. I guess I just like to do things by myself. Yeah, so I I'm like, sorry. 
<laughs> but I still I think we should do it anyway. I also don't give a shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm in charge here, and you know, you're all kind of below me, so we're the only ones responsible for this fate of the club, but you know, it really comes down to me. So if we start the event, put on a good performance, I might even let you all stay here instead of kicking you out to the street. <laughs> then it will inspire others to join the scene. And then more people will perform, and the better will be able to show everybody what literature is all about now. Yeah. <laughs> this is about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding your horizons, get, doing no dance. Get down with your bad self. <laughs> And having fun. That's right. And it's for those reasons that we're all in this club today. Because I allow you to be. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. Me. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes standing in front of a room for two minutes and we sign the poem, then I know. You can do it! It's getting very brave heart. It's very inspiring. Humph. Humph. It's okay, and Yuri remains silent. So Yuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. A cat Great choice. You? There's a cat, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's too much to ask, you guys. Especially since I'm not doing any of it. I think that Siori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Yeah, well, maybe, but... Shut the hell up. <laughs> I mean, it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any argument left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with so you all shut up. <laughs> Alright. Fear. Thanks, Natsuki. And hey, what, what about you, Yuri? You've been a little quiet over there. Humph. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone except everyone else expected faces. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. I mean... You guys are really twisting my arm, so this death is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. Don't even worry about it. But anyway, Jupiter, how are you doing? Are you doing anything after school? Uh, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Uh, no, no, no way. Monica, how dare you? <laughs> this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite a poem in front of the club, I'd expect to do it in front of strangers, stupid dog. Don't you agree? <laughs> that wasn't the goddamn deal. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll, start, I'll, <laughs> I'll start to everyone else. I'll start out to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go nuts? <laughs> of course you can, because I'll allow you to. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she had in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. This is where I belong. <laughs> now, the title of the poem is The Way They Fly. Kind of, you know, how I fly over you all. Ahem. Monica recites her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflections is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Wow. God damn. <laughs> I glance around me. Everyone's <laughs> eyes are on Monica. Shiori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. It's very weird. Finally, Monica finished her recitation. Rec rec 
Am I stupid? I'm stupid. Recitation, I guess, because mm. it's like reciting. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that word either. The four of us applaud. Clap, 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 clap. Monica takes a breath and smiles. Look, that was that was so good, Monica. Yeah, thank you so much. You certainly know that I'm just better than you. I hope I was setting a good example that you could follow, but you'll ultimately not reach. Uh, are you ready to go next, Yori? I, I'll go next. Well, Yori's fired up all of a sudden. I want to get this goddamn shit over with. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quiet and quickly over to the podium. This poem is called I Hate All of You. <laughs> I used to do it, Yuri. It, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri shakes, oh, voices shake as she starts reading the poem. Just moments ago, she practiced. She practically refused to do this. Why is this? God dang it! Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past her first couple of lines, her voice changes. Her voice changes. Yes, Victor. <laughs> yes, you fool. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm in her monologue. You're doing a good job. Trip it out. <laughs> it's almost like what happens when Yuri gets so absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poems of are full of twists and turns in its structure. It, uh, how is he like so like articulate in verse and how writing happens? But he's never written. He hates books. He's never read in front of people. Who is this? Who is this? Man? It's it's all in mangas. This is true. Yeah. Um, that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside of her head. At least that's what I imagine. Suddenly she finishes. Everyone is stunned. Quickly, uh, Yuri <laughs> snaps back into reality. <laughs> Snap back to reality! What? <laughs> <laughs> and glances around her as if she was bewildered even herself. Ah, it's up to me to save this situation. <laughs> Knight in shiny white armor, here I come. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone you joins me afterwards. Your protagonist is white. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> we uh, we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her, but we were so caught off guard we must have forgotten. As we applauded, Yuri holds her poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. That was like really good, you know, not as good as mine, but thank you for sharing this great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are we saying for these dots? I already forgot. Uh, anything. Uh, it's, it, it's your anime voice. <laughs> Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm next now. Yuri hops to her chair, cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Middle. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Stop like nigga. This is... Yuri. Ha 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 ha. Credit this freeze. This was harder than I thought, most because of my voice. Did you guys... How did you guys even do it so easily? Ah! <laughs> 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 Try not to think about it when you're reciting it to other people like I do. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself in front of a mirror or in your own head like where the voices are. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way, especially if you listen to the voices. I see, I see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay then. Siori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made... Uh, was made as a perfect me- her voice is soft I don't know <laughs> Sign- <laughs> <It's pretty softy. laughs> the poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Siori is it's sincere and bittersweet like she mentioned before Ooh. if I were to read this on paper I probably wouldn't think much of it but hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a newfound meaning maybe this is what Siori meant when she said she likes my poems it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew thoroughly, or through and through. 
Shiori finishes and we applaud. Now, little. Good job, Shiori. This is the most normal day I ever had yet. <laughs> Even Droopy Guy liked it. I guess that's a good sign. He's kind of stupid. What does that even mean? I'm stupid. I, mean, I must be so stupid. I don't even know what the word stupid means. She came out nicely, Shiori. You know, not a good mind, but oh, the atmosphere of your pool fits you really nicely. It might even be uh, that the other pools wouldn't work out quite as well with that kind of delivery. Oh, that's still me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems with yours that are kind of short with the gentle delivery that wouldn't work out so well because you're not really good at it. And they might need a little some more like the force behind them, depending on what you're reading, drip it out. No, oh, I know what you mean. That's where I, I've kind of been practicing that kind of thing. This is embarrassing to do for everybody. This is this. The next step. And I pick for them to yeah, challenge you just a little bit more. And we don't have to t much time for before the festival, you know, so like, get better really fast, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> now, uh, who's next? Natsuki? Humph. Don't make me go before Droopy Dog. Hey, what the He's gonna fuck? stink up the place. Don't throw me out of the bus. <laughs> You might as well let Droopy Dog lower everyone's standards a little before I have what to do the it. Hey! <laughs> not so good. It's fine. It's fine. Might as well get it over with. Jeez. It's not like I have much of a selection to read. I only wrote like two things. Might as well have go with what I wrote today. Sure, I stand up and then, you know, I stand in front of the poem. Podium, you know, it's fine. It's fine, I'm not, I'm, I'm not being passive aggressive at all. I, you know, everyone has their eyes on me and I'm feeling awkward and I just wish I could just leave. But I'll just recite my poem. It's not exactly confident. I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I recede applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Oh, don't worry about it as much. You'll never be as good as me. I think it's less about your abilities and more about the lack of the confidence in your right. That's something that'll improve over time though. I mean, it'll take you years to get to my level. Well, you'll never reach that, but you'll get better. Yeah, maybe. Don't we have to do this like tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right then, everybody. Let's, let's just leave you, Nasuki. Huh, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Nasuki so begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called, uh, it's called, what are y'all looking at me? It's part of the thing. No, no, but you're, uh. But you're uh, presenting, remember? Um, anyway, the poem is called Jump. Like, jump, jump, jump off a bridge, you all. I hate you, and oh. <laughs> Take a breath. Just take the breath. Jesus, she, <laughs> calm the hell down. Once she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears, but only a little bit, because, you know, she's just that way. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Nasuki's trademark style, and it's working surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Nasuki finishes, and everyone applauds. But we're just being nice. That wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, the poem was bad, but you did it all right. Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again, like at the festival that we're all talking about. Uh, well, do you, do you at least, like, feel a little prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people, like at the festival? That's why we're doing this. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier instead of you idiots. I can put whatever face I want for other people but when it's my friends and i use the term friends loosely it's just like embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay that's okay. oh that's a surprise <laughs> i think it would, i think it would be the other way around well that's just how it is so 
And that's the that, 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 I guess in this case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. And that, that said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I really forced you all into getting ready. But I hope you'll have an idea for what it's like now. I'm gonna make sure you make a poem and get enough practice so you don't embarrass me at the festival, okay? <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be making pamphlets, so uh, let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting so I can write over it and do something Jeez, better. Jeez, stop talking. <laughs> I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's fine too. I mean, I could just write, write them all for you. Uh, it doesn't have to be your own. I'm, I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting all this effort into the club. And it makes me really happy, Droopy Dog. I truly appreciate that. And only you. Hey, hey you feel better if you eat my hair a little bit. It gives you some confidence. Yeah, it's all my power. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, Droopy Dog, don't you think? So I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll be planning tomorrow. Uh, then we'll have the weekend prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright, I'm... Um... We're going home now, right? I, I stand up because I'm just going to leave without saying anything. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Yori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. <laughs> Even though I'm totally getting at Yuri, so what's... What is this? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's... <laughs> then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Yori? Yep. Oh, look at you two, always going home together like that, hello sketch. I, th I, th I think it's kind of adorable, isn't it, Droopy Dog? But like, wouldn't you rather walk with somebody smarter? <laughs> I think it's adorable that you, you know, you can, you know, crawl up on my man like that. It's fine, it's fine, I'll get, I'll get you back. I clap back. This is hell. Jeez, guys. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm only one man. I mean, if I could split into three people, uh, <laughs> I know that would be cool. But uh, I can't I mean, do that. So, so. Uh, uh, don't make such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, I suppose. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's a little droopy dog. You don't have to sell it. Whatever, let's just go already gone. <laughs> I walk home with Siori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Siori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siori. Well then. So, I, I was supposed to know. Ah, no wonder. Um, I, I was thinking, thinking about uh, something from earlier. Like how we used to... I mean... Siori fumbles with her words. Uh, so, th this is said on Monday. Yuri asked about home with you. Huh? What, what, what in this hypothetical situation? What would you uh, potentially do? What kind of question is that? That's stupid. You're overthinking it. I'm tired of walking you home. You're kind of... Putting me in the spot here, don't you think? <laughs> well? Oh. You gotta be faithful here. To your choice. I, can't, I, I, can't, think, I, uh, I think you gotta be honest with her. Mm. Honesty's the best <laughs> policy here, Victor. I know, but like, we, I could still be her friend and walk her home, and then, you know, I, then I call Yuri on my cell when I get home, and be I like, what up, girl? You up? Oh, that's... I, 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 I don't think the, I don't know if the game will give you that option. <laughs> it's possible. It's a possibility. But I think you're making a choice here for the future. It's like select a text. You up? What up? Send nudes? <laughs> All right, fine. I would be honest. I would walk home with Yuri because she's my queen. I'd walk home with 
You're, see, now I just feel bad. <laughs> yeah, you're Honestly, it hurts, Craig. Honestly, it hurts. You, you all been friends for years. Why does that... Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? See? Even I know I'm being mean. Yeah. You gotta follow your heart. No, I, I mean, mean, how hard is it for her... Uh, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> so you admitted it. Jeez. I completely screwed that up. <laughs> the meme is a uh, sheesh. <laughs> oh, is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on quick aside what does that mean i mean I, th I like it it's funny because like the visual gags on like you know tiktok what, what is that come on what does it mean what's going it's, on gen z it's, it's more than it's more than a, a saying victor okay i, I bet it, i bet it's over by now too oh. I, bet, I bet they're not even doing it anymore oh yeah me means move fast uh yeah. there uh there is not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen well maybe I just, I just like to think about it. It's not lying before you won't need me anymore, you know? Can you tell me why you're being a downer? Like, please, Siori, come on. I, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone's different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you, okay? Shut up. Uh. Doesn't feel like it, but if you say so, yeah, chill out. Leave, leave your eyes chill out. Fine. Just chill out. Just remember, I can see your bedroom just chill window out. from Just from wait, what? Say again? <laughs> Conversation ah. trails off. <laughs> I'm left feeling awkward because apparently I need to close my blinds more often. But it was a kind, but it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. Uh, I just can't lie to her. But if there's something that, but if there's something that makes her happy. I would hate to take that away from her. So that's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Alright. Okay, this is the end of that day. Ooh, I wonder how I wonder how many poems we're gonna have to write to get to the end of this. I mean, I guess we have Monday. And it's almost the weekend. How many days? So probably a couple more. I thought you were talking about real life for a second. I was just like, <laughs> okay, yeah, we do have the weekend to record, but I thought, you know, you'd want a, a break. <laughs> I mean, if you want to record Doki Doki for the rest of your life, I mean, that's cool with me. <laughs> I mean, it's a four hour game. Right? <laughs> for the rest of your life, Craig. I, oh, okay. Next episode, another poem. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. How you, how, yeah. You still, uh, oh, you, you still feeling good? I'm feeling fantastic. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to stop my recording. Uh...